The following is a high-level overview of ModX content management framework. You can find out more information about ModX at modX.com, M-O-D-X dot com. Today we're going to be reviewing logging in, creating, editing, and deleting resources. When I mention resources, I am referring to web pages on a website. So the first step to going to, into ModX is to log into the backend management system. So we're going to look at our default Revolution install, and Revolution is the newest iteration of ModX. The first step that you want to do is go to the URL of the website that you are managing. In this example, we're looking at a staging site for our Revolution install. You would go to www.mydomain.com forward slash manager, and that would get you to this login screen. The next step is to put in your login information. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And the first thing that we're going to see is the dashboard area. Now there are many uh, areas that you can actually add into the new Modix Revolution dashboard. Today we're not going to be covering that. We're going to go over briefly again how to create, edit, and delete resources. If you want to view the website, one of the first things that you can see here is that there is a site tab, which brings down a variety of drop downs. This view loads the home page onto a new window. So if I were to click this, it's going to open into a brand new window. As you can see, this is a blank templated site. It has not been themed or skinned by a design. Again, this is just an example website that we will be using for the purposes of this demonstration. The first step into creating a new resource for ModX is to either click on the folder plus icon right here, and if you hover over it, a little title will come up that says New Document. You also have the ability to create new documents by right-clicking on the web context, and you can create new document here. So there's a variety of different ways of actually creating a resource or a page for your website. We already have a home page here, so we're going to go ahead and click on that one. And you'll see that there are a variety of different fields for the user to fill out. One of the first things that you would fill out is the title which in semantics would be the title tag of the website, depending on how you set up the templates. The long title would be the H1 or the heading level one title for your website. And then you also have a menu title. The menu title is the menu title that shows up in the navigation, depending on how long the word is, you might want to actually shorten that up. Our SEO specialist would actually recommend a shorter title for a menu title. Then you also have the resource alias. The resource alias is the URL slug, which shows up and is appended automatically to the website URL. So you have mydomain.com forward slash index.html. Use this template is the template that is associated to a particular page. So depending on how the website is laid out, you could have a variety of different templates. In this example, we have a one column, two column, three column, and we can even have a mobile template. Just below that area, we have the main content area. Take advantage of the WYSIWYG editor, and WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. It's a rich text editor, much like Word, so you can come in here and actually start typing in content. So you'll notice that you have a different uh, selections here at the top, much like a Word editor. So I can highlight and bold text. I could even highlight and add a link to a different website. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to come back to my home page, reload it, and you'll see that my sampled content for Tim Doyle has shown up on the home page. I can click on this link and it will actually take me to the link that I typed in on the resource area. Welcome back to the ModX tutorial and overview from TopSpot Internet Marketing. In our last example, we, we reviewed how to log into the ModX content management system and creating a new resource. In this example, we're going to look at editing a resource, deleting a resource, undeleting a resource, and purging all deleted resources. ModX takes advantage of the undelete option 
uh, should you come into a website and decide to delete a web page or a resource. But later on you decide that you're actually going to need that page. Uh, so it gives you the option to undelete it. If you've gone through and made a, a variety of uh, selections and you decide to purge all of the deleted files, these will actually get rid of them as a whole from the database. So in our last example, we created some content on the home page. So we're going to go back to that. And I want to edit it and say, uh, add a new sentence or even a headline for it. So I'm going to create a headline. And again, you have the WYSIWYG editor, and you can change the formatting. So I'm going to make a heading level 2, and I'm going to say, this is my awesome title. So again, this would be an SEO-friendly title that our SEO specialist would come in and actually manipulate based on the content of the page. So our next paragraph, we're just going to fill in some sample data. I just grabbed some lorem ipsum, which is dummy text that we can use to fill in this area. So I'm going to put in two paragraphs, and then I'm going to make a heading level three. So this would be the next title. And again, one or two paragraphs should suffice. I'm going to hit save. And another great feature about ModX Revolution is, depending on if you're on a Mac or on a PC, you can actually hit Command S or Control S, and it'll save right there from the UI. Alternatively, you can click the Save button as I did in our previous example. So I'm going to hit Site View, and that's going to open up my home page again. And we'll notice that my content from the earlier example is still there with the link. We also have our Heading Level 2 with our two paragraphs, and our Heading Level 3 with our two paragraphs. So now I want to come in here and say, you know what, I want to delete this page. I have a variety of different ways of doing that as well. So there's never just one way of doing things in ModX. In the content resource itself, you have a few different options. Again, you have save, duplicate, view, close. Then you have some little icons here that allow you to continue editing, add another resource, or completely close the document. As mentioned, we'll be deleting this resource, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit delete. It's going to ask me, do you want to do this? It's going to give me a note that any children resources will also be deleted. So if you had subordinate pages underneath it, you would have the ability, or you would actually delete those as well. So I'm going to click yes, and because it's the home page, I'm not going to be allowed to do that. So I'm going to pause real quick and create a new resource. I've created that sample page real quick and we're going to go through and actually delete it now. So we again, we have the option to delete here in the top button. We can also come over to the resource on the left hand side of the resource tree, right click, and this will give us a, a different variety of selections here. So again, I can delete it from the drop down menu or I can delete it from this little button right here. So I'm going to hit delete, hit yes, Modix is going to refresh, and now I have a red strike through on that page. It hasn't been completely deleted from the system. So now I can actually come over here and right click and undelete, and that actually gets rid of the red strike through, and I have the ability to view this page again uh, through the navigation. Now, to completely delete it, to purge it, again, I would delete the page. And now this trash can icon is available to me. In previous examples, this would have been grayed out and not available for me to click on. But now if I click on it, it's going to ask me, do I want to completely and permanently remove all deleted resources? I'm going to hit yes. And that has been deleted from the website. And we will no longer have the ability to edit or view this page. That concludes this example of the ModX tutorial. Thank you for watching.